ladies and gentlemen, Cone Dodger here, and welcome back to iRacing in the Formula Renault. This week we are at a brand new track to be Zandvoort. Zandvoort. Also known as the Sandfort. Also known as nearly wrecking on lap one. <laughs> oh man. This has not been a good uh, a good start to be this season as far as qualifying goes, has it? That wasn't a uh, total loss, though. We didn't damage the car at all. So I'm going to putz it around here for lap two, save the tires. Although it does seem to take the tires about three quarters of a lap to come in. This track, being new to me, has been tricky. It's comparable to many other tracks. It's got a little bit of the Nürburgring GP in it. It's got a little bit of uh, Sonoma feel. It's got a little bit of... What was the one we were really comparing it to? Oh, uh, uh, Barber Motors Barber Motorsports Park, easy for me to say. Not really. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a mutt of all of those. I've kind of been struggling with the same things I was struggling with last week at Spa. Just don't feel like I have the car under me. Uh, it doesn't feel like I have the front wheels under me. It doesn't feel like I have the back wheels under me at times. Just uh, struggling to find a happy medium with it. It's not even really a setup issue. It's just a can't find the boundaries of the car. It seems like this car has much much of a uh, more soft gradient of grip than in the Mazda, which was kind of like on or off. So I find myself struggling to lean this car up on its limit, so instead I'm either way under it or way over it. So that's the challenge. Now I really need to focus on this lap or we're going to have a bad time. Nice and easy in turn one. Too late on the brakes into there. Wait for understeer on exit. This turn, very tricky. I am much too low, so I had to wait for the gas. If you get on the gas too soon and you're down that low, it's like the banking causes the inside wheel to spin up. This is not good. Fifth, left the car coast. I'm struggling with the front end right there as well. When it comes to pace, it's like I don't have enough front end. When it comes to stability and like trying to race people being offline, stuff like that, I don't have enough back end, <laughs> which you can see right there. Overall, this has been an abysmal lap. I'm sure we're gonna need we're gonna be buried in the field. This is a shame because this is actually the weather conditions I did primarily all of my practice in. And I did a lot of practice, probably three, four hours of practice, which for me is a lot. For most people isn't very much. Oh, and we're gonna no oh, okay, we didn't wreck, but ruin this lap. Yep, we'll be starting till end. That's a shame. That's a real shame. <laughs> 36. That's, that's pretty abysmal. Oh, it's over. It's over before we begin. First lap, I put the left side tires in the grass into turn one and spun it around. Second lap, it was just an understeery mess. Yeah, I, uh, I binged it on the out lap, so I barely got my lap in. How bad was the uh, attrition in these races? Usually only five cars at most, from what I, from what, from what I do. Most people make it through the entire first lap, but there's only one or two guys out right away. Well, it just seems like there's nowhere here to do the crazy dive bomb moves, so, you know, it should be pretty calm. Yeah, that's one of the things that kind of sucks about Spa, is it really asks for the people to do that. <laughs> On the flip side, it's nice when you start, you know, last. <laughs> Be careful on the first lap, please. Suerte, compañeros. Suerte. 
fuerte. Fuerte. Here we go. Green, green, green. We have Start. Everybody fanning out. All clear, all clear. But we're right at the back, so where are we gonna go, right? Oh, we're gonna watch them bounce around in front of us. Watch this thing on cold tires up here. All clear, all clear. And watch everybody else too. Got one on your left. Clear on the left. Everybody getting through nice and clear though. Nice to see. Lots okay. Lots of traffic. Got one on your right. You got a slow car up ahead. We have a car stopped on the left. Oh okay. of course, okay, get cleared. That <laughs> was <laughs> almost bad news for us. Some blow. I don't know where I thought I was going to go right there. Yeah, I like to see all these people defending their lines on the entry, making them go slower. I have to keep in mind there's a couple people that missed qualifying, so they'll be shooting up. Car well, on your left. kept it from wrecking anybody. This has not not been a pleasant left. week for me as far as iRacing right. goes. Right. Go I'm not alone. <laughs> that was, I think it was the number one car. Oh man. You know, usually when I practice this much, I uh, I feel a little bit more confident. But this week I've just not been able to gain any confidence in this car here whatsoever. I never know. It, it's not communicating to me what it's doing. Tried a multitude of setups. I ended up uh, sticking with Zach's once again, disc golfers. It's okay. It's Like I said, there's not really anything different between the setups that I've used. It's just a uh, communication issue between me and it. I can run some decent laps but no consistency amongst them. Considering I did a 50 lap, like, run, like consecutive laps, and I don't think two of them back to back were at the same time, like, second group, <laughs> so that pretty much, uh, that pretty much shows you the lack of consistency. But I will not give up. I'm not gonna learn by not racing. Even though honestly, <laughs> if not for the whole recording this for YouTube thing, probably would have skipped this week. Just because I didn't didn't feel didn't feel like I belonged here. That's one of the main reasons I started doing the whole YouTube thing, though, to make sure that I keep inspired, to keep trying. Well, the tires got a little heat in them. Getting a bit more grip. Still gotta watch it in areas like that. This track's very tough to pass at, so going to be uh, slow going here, trying to work our way up. Just got to hope to pressure people with the mistakes. I'm glad I ended up not taking anybody out into that uh, slow right-hander. If nothing else, I have pretty good car control as far as, like, uh, <laughs> being out of control, I'm pretty good at doing that. <laughs> Keeping the car 
away from other people when it's out of control, I guess. Hey, there goes one. That's the kind of thing that happens with this car. You just mosey it along, and all of a sudden it's like, you know what? I think I want to spin now. And so it does. Let's see if we can catch a little gerb in here. 36 is these times are much slower than I ran in all of practice. Much slower. Thanks for staying close to you now. Not getting a great drive out of there. I need to get back to the throttle and just stay in the throttle. Uh, but I don't want to spin into the wall down below. This was not the week to have a bad qualifying run because qualifying position seems really important here. So I'll flash up another yellow up here. Let's see any incidents. We're hanging right with this group. So we're doing all right at the moment. Feels like maybe the three getting held up a little by the twelve. Can't find my apex for this turn. If you're not using that curb on the bottom, you're not doing it right, and I'm not doing it right, <laughs> as you can see. Two terribly much draft op opportunities here. A little bit down this front stretch. Oh, that's getting tight. That was very tight. Three backed all the way out of that one, thinking, I don't think I like the way that guy uh, just moved me over. I don't think I would have liked that either. Oh, hi there. Dang it. Are on your right. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Bottom's not really where you want to be there. He's going to try it again down here. He's got the preferred line. Jeez, and the two rubbing up in front of me again. Perhaps a little bit of payback there. Nice move by the one. Made that work around the long way. Jeez, don't do that. <laughs> That's the last thing I need. Okay. That uh, took me by surprise. Could be part of the thing I'm struggling with too is the brakes. I don't feel like I have a good reference as to where they're going to lock up and what's the right amount of pressure versus in the in the star. You seem to be able to just really throw a lot of brakes at it and be all right. This car seems to lock up a little bit easier. This is quickly going to turn into a lapping day with Cone. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to tank my eye rating here and end up in the uh, bottom splits. Then I'll really have a bad time. Turn this thing around after not too long. Or that will be our fate.
better there. That's better. Still not right where I need to be, though. I feel like we're probably going to catch this back in front of us again. One minute thirty-six point three seven six. We have a car stopped on the right. Stop on the right. So I'm looking. I'm looking. There they are. Okay. This week, much different than last week. Last week, I felt pretty comfortable, just didn't have the pace. This week, this week, I just don't feel comfortable enough to push the car to have pace. There is a difference there. But I know Spa like the back of my hand, so there's, there's probably the key difference there. This place, as we discussed during the practice stream, I have not seen since Grand Prix Legends, which was like, I don't know, 15 years ago? <laughs> so basically have never seen this track before. Yeah, we're definitely, even though I'm not hanging with the one too close, we're definitely catching that pack in front. Which could be a very good thing for us. I'm sure we're hanging pretty tight with the one, in all reality. do as they say race to the racetrack. I'm, I'm not doing too well at that. I'm too focused on what they're doing up ahead of me and too focused on uh, the, the times. And the 35s is better. I'd really like to be in the 34s. This, this weather condition has 34s in it. Easy. Leader's probably running in the 33s. These fields are so tight, though. Two seconds is an eternity. Versus, like, that season we ran in GT1, two seconds might be, you know, the difference between first and fifth. I'm losing time there. There's one pushing it wide. He is certainly driving the crap out of that car. As you would if you were number one seed and had to work your way from the very back. Lower that brake lock up. Come on, Marvin. Need to follow you through. One minute thirty-five. Oh, we're halfway nine, through. One, this race is gonna go by quick. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> Does it sound like it's uh? Not gonna drive off the turn. Oh, that's why. I, I am at least getting better about not blipping. So that's good. I'm not confusing the car anymore. I'm still not getting the downshifts very well. It's like you definitely have to wait longer with this car to get a downshift than I'm used to. You can't just do it in a burst, you gotta do it about in pairs is pretty much how I would describe it. A couple gears at a time. If you're coming down gears like that. He's back up to the 19, but I'm not where I need to be to take advantage of it. That's what I meant. I wanted to be under him when it was when I was there. Are you under steering really bad too? Like crazy. I would say this is the worst this car has felt the entire time here. 
Yeah, it wasn't anything like this in the last race or when they made the set. That's what I was feeling in qualifying too. So that's interesting. I thought it might have had to do with the I think I got damage on the first lap, but I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's reassuring that at least he's kind of feeling the same things that I'm feeling. Yeah doesn't help our position. It doesn't help the fact that I made that mistake and lost a couple positions, but at least <laughs> at least I have some kind of justification for how the car is feeling. I mean we're not doing terrible, we're we're catching people, we're not losing people. The 19 here seems a little uncomfortable, so that's that's good for us take advantage of it. Not that I'm feeling super comfortable, but I feel like we might be in a little bit better shape than he is. That's what I mean. Oh no! All that work he put into that. Oh, that stinks. I need to get around him in a hurry though, because the 13 is closing in in a hurry. He's locking up that inside front every turn. I just do not feel like I have front tires on this car right now. Oh man, this is this is not gonna work out to our favor. Of course, I'm following people too. Like I don't have a good arrow on the nose. Here's the 13. <laughs> I will try to defend, but I don't think I have much for him. Not with the 19 in front of me, for sure. Guess I'm finally hitting that mark. Draft, come on, come on. Not gonna get there. Show it. That's what I'm trying to do is push him into oversteering or understeering out of that turn. That's what I need. Come on, last week I made somebody miss a a breaking point that didn't exist. This week I can make somebody understeer, right? Yeah, don't blow. Don't blow or I push you far out. Okay. Get the run out. Nice. Oh, too deep. No run. I will push you out. I am I am going. All clear, all clear. That's the problem with it, exiting low. That's right, you're going to be right, someone. Pretty sure that's acceptable. Oh, is it kind of wreck? 11 cars been driving like an idiot the whole race, and now he's complaining because he's spun out. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what was going on there. I think the 13's mad at me too, I'm not sure.
to get around this 19. That's that's what's really holding me up at the moment, but I've not seen a decent opportunity yet. That was probably my opportunity, and I blew it. Here we go. I pushed him wide. Come on, Ronnie, get back. I pushed him wide. I wish I could change channels right now. Sorry, I'll help. But I didn't touch my stomach. I'm sorry, I pushed you wide there. One minute thirty six point seven oh nine. Did you really do that? Did you really do that? <laughs> Go right. Oh, Jesus. Did you go? You're just a fool, man. Don't blow, man. Don't blow, man. Don't blow. What the hell is going on? Shut the proper ring, bitch. Before you get the air. What the fuck was that? I'm not sure I like this series. Yeah, it was my mistake, sorry. Yeah! Well, that makes two of you in the same map, buddy. Why don't you drive? I'm so distracted by everything that's going on here. So much drama. Yeah, that's what I just said. I'm so distracted, I can't even, like, focus on driving. I want to know what's going on. Couldn't agree more where I passed. He's a rocket driver. One minute, thirty-seven point three oh eight five left to go. The most funny being easy so easy do. I don't know how you spell this weird name, number eleven. Don't block, don't block, please, don't block or I kill you. What? Hey, Mark, he got me on the first lap, actually. Because I had this great arc, I got punched off. I'm thinking maybe he punted me. No, I'm looking on, and he actually he did punch you. He thinks he's alone on the track, so don't block, don't block, or I kill you. I think the best part about that is he blocked me when I was going for a pass on him. You kill, you kill your, your pass. I don't need to kill you. No, don't block, don't block, don't block. He kills you, you know. He's gonna kill you. I don't know how this is gonna play out for us. Still there? Hold your line. All clear, all clear. Car on your left. Still there. Clear on the left. I think that's as cleanly as I could have made that happen. Now to keep the 19 behind me. That's all I want. I keep the 19 behind me, I'll be happy. I hope I didn't do anything too sketchy there. I, uh, yeah, that was a bit dicey. You have about five laps to do left. All good. One minute, 37.855. I don't want to even bother coming back. I don't want to be too sketchy. Just like that. Whatever. I feel better now knowing that a 13 wasn't mad at me. <laughs> this is why I can't be a good racing car driver. I'm, I'm too worried about 
what people think of my racing ship. But I totally chopped his nose off at least twice, so. And I was driving like crap. Oh, there's another one wide. Hopefully he didn't just enter the track below us. Okay, we're good. Oh man, what a weird race. It's such a weird place. <laughs> it's a track like I've never seen, and this is this has kind of been a race like I've never seen. Is it over yet? I'm ready for it to be over. To be quite honest. I wouldn't mind now getting back up to this 13 if we could. Try and make it a race to the end. I think we're pretty similarly paced. This is where he's really getting me. He just already hit the line, wow. I feel like this race has been just crazy enough that there's still one more one more incident left in it. Somebody somebody ahead of us is still gonna wreck. I don't know who, I don't know why, but it's gonna be somebody. We do see two cars close to each other up ahead of us. So the opportunity is there. I think this would be our best lap. Uh, it wasn't a four. I was really hoping it would be a four. Keeping distance in the 19, so that's good. Lines right here. I'm not really. Yep, that's why. <laughs> See how I kept rotating? I don't like that. Don't like it one bit. I'm gonna make it to him. He's got just a little bit of pace on me. He's driving it hard, so you can make a mistake. I'm driving it pretty hard too, <laughs> not gonna lie. This place makes me death grip the wheel like nowhere besides the ring. That's the only other place I've noticed that I, I death grip the wheel like this. Some pressure on him. Nice. Staying right with him. Pull the draft through here. A little one we can get. If this is how I've been driving the whole race, 
things would have been a lot different. Oh, really? Sorry. Oh, there we go. We're breaking too hard there. Called it. I think it's going to gain us a position I was hoping it would, but I called it. I am not changing my direction five, three, four times. You yet. Killed, man. Ah, well, I didn't quite get there. But I was such a weird race. I, uh, I guess I'm okay with that result, to be honest. We come home in P14. And uh, I hope I never see most of these people ever again. How'd you finish? Well, well put. Fourteenth, so at least I came up through the field, but it was really not a nice race. We not got punch it off? Oh well. Finish higher than your eye rating, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take it, but uh, I gave up one position because I, I couldn't figure out if Ryan was mad at me or he was talking to Indigo, and he made a move on me, and I was just like, you know what, just take it. <laughs> Yeah, I thought he was right behind you, and I was checking down the relative every once in a while, and I thought he was mad at you, too. <laughs> like, what did you do? Yeah, I, know, I mean, I was, I had turned in front of him a few times, not to, like, block, but just, you know, as, to kind of, uh, take my line back. But he kept talking about, you know, people blocking, and I'm like, I, I don't think I am, am I? <laughs> so, yeah, Ryan, I could not figure out for the life of me, for a good part of that race, if you were mad at me for blocking, or if you were talking about the 11. <laughs> Me? Um, no, no, no. I was, uh, well, I was mostly puzzled by what happened on the first lap where I got punched off, but, uh, nah, I was just enjoying a bit of my friend banter. That's a wrap on week number two of the Formula Renault Championship. That was a weird one. That was a weird one. As bad as that race started for me, it actually ended up pretty okay for me. I, I'm happy with the pace I showed at the end of that race. And to justify that with myself and maybe you guys, uh, look at my fastest lap, a 135.0. I thought that was an awful fastest lap, and I really wanted a 34. However, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 cars in front of me did not even turn that fast of a lap. So, I guess it was pretty good after all. Zach ended up only having a 50, only, quote-unquote, having a 50, 35.2 uh, to get 5th place. So... If I had had better pace in the beginning of the race and was more comfortable and uh, didn't give up any positions with that uh, near spin, near wreck, then things could have gone even better. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my chin up. I'm gonna say that that was a decent race for me, even though the actual racing, the actual race was terrible. And I hope we never get stuck in this group ever again. Uh, it's still not a bad race, and just gonna. Carry on to next week. Not going to do any more races this week. I don't think I want to mess around with this track anymore. But next week we had to Phillip Island. Then we do Monza. And then we do... What was the third one? There was three in a row that I said I liked. Phillip Island, Monza, and... The third one. There's another track also that I like. Oh, Road Atlanta. So three tracks I know pretty well. Three tracks I enjoy. So hopefully we get uh, this I rating back into a positive number. Not nearly as bad as I was making it sound. If we had finished down here where we qualified, yeah, we would lose a lot of I rating. But we only lost 10, so it's it's really not a big deal to finish mid-pack. Just, uh, I just need to uh, not worry about that stuff as much. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Thanks all for the support and understanding the the slow progress that is Cone Dodge and Ride Racing. I hope I'm really, really thinking about doing something else in I racing, Something maybe a little less intense to try and give people the other half of the story, because I think you're only seeing the the, the struggle bus half of the story. Uh, there's a whole other part of iRacing that wouldn't be anything like this, so I'm going to consider that. i got to find a way to work it into my schedule, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I think I already said thanks for watching, but I'll say it again. Thanks for watching. Bye.